Hello Montessorians and other teachers. Here is my Montessori tip for you or prospective Montessori parents. As Montessorian or a directress, you are constantly having current parents, prospective parents coming into your classroom. Having an observation chair is a key staple in a Montessori classroom. So, I wanted to give you a really great tip to help adults that are Montessori savvy and non-Montessori savvy to help um, make the flow of the classroom go nicely. As you can see, I'm talking about dun dun dun, your observation chair. Usually in a Montessori classroom, chairs are wooden. They all have a very sleek and unique form. This is an adult sized chair and therefore adults should be sitting in them. They're not in proportion to children's small bodies. So I took a chair to make it stand out and I painted two chairs blue because I want people to know exactly where to go or for children to know when the adult comes into the classroom or an, an observer come into the classroom to be able to um, graciously go over, give them a chair, ask them if they would like a cup of tea while they're observing, and just be able to sit down and feel relaxed and welcome in the classroom. Here's what I did. I took paint. As you can see, this is mythic paint, non-toxic and odorless. I really liked it because on the side, it said it was safe for people, family, pets, and it's safe for our planet. What a great paint. It comes in so many different colors, and I got it at my local hardware store in town. I used my hammer <laughs> so I could open my paint and container, my trusty Ikea hammer. Look at that, it's been in many apartments with me. I put down a two plastic um, garbage bags. Yes, they are plastic, sorry Montessorians. Uh, it is just saving my apartment floor from getting ruined and I won't be fine for that. I have a roller, probably not the best thing to use when painting a chair, but it worked just fine. Also, I had a little um, paint sponge brush thing that worked well, my blue paint, my mixer, and I just used a cheap little brush. Then I painted it, two coats. I see that I missed a spot, so I'm glad I'm doing this with you right now. And then I'm going to paint observation chair on this one and observation chair on, as you can already see, I did it on the other one. So I'm going to paint these, get them done, bring them into the classroom, um, put them in places where the children know where they are. So when the adult comes, they can bring them the chair and also use their grace and courtesy skills by giving them a cup of tea. I hope this inspired you to help make your observations in your classroom go more smoothly. All right, thanks for taking the tour of the observation chair. And go Montessori!